Hey guys, new video here explaining the ritual altars of different types. How do you know that an altar is rare? Well, it looks something like this. It looks like a gore portal. I'll show it right now. G A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P A B C D E F G. Okay, right there. G. So, let me show you. Ready? It looks like this. It's just a reskin of this portal. So, if you go into any map and there's a shrine that looks just like this, it might be different colors. It might be fiery. It might be chilled. It might have coins spilling off of it. There's Those also are well. We're making rare some money shrines. For once and things are and what great. they mean is that Till the ones that have thanks, a... Oh, Mr. my God. Uh, a re a re Yo, thank you, PSL, for 39 months. Resub. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Now, let's say you get a fiery one, right? Let's say you get a fiery one like this, right? It'll, it'll spawn meteors from the thing, okay? That's that's one of them. Let's say you get a blue one. A blue one that's... Zzz. What that does is it shoots these, like, beams. There's five beams like this, right? Five beams spinning around. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Then there's another one. There's a very scary one. It's purple pink. Now, this one is called... It's called, uh... It's called, uh, you know, um... The, 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 the... What's that skill? Soul Rend. This is called the Soul Rend. And there's a ball like this, and it goes, pew, 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 and it moves in a direction. Pew, pew. And then there's another one. There's another light blue one like this. This is called the lightning one. Right? This one's a cold degen. This is the one on the right is the lightning one. And what this one does is it, it shoots a path like this with five balls that travel in one direction. Very easy to avoid. Extremely easy to avoid. Probably the easiest one, okay? Uh, fire one and the and the the five ball one are easiest. The purple one, I hate the purple one. Unless you're like CI or something, the purple one scares me a lot. Okay, these are the four rare ones, and then there's an oppy one. This one's the rarest one of them all. This one is the oppy oppy, and it looks like this. It's um, it's like the gore. They're all the gore portal. Once again, they all look exactly like this, but the oppy one has coins. It's got like this golden shower coming off of it of coins. Look at this. Just coins flying off of it. And when it spawns, there's even these little pools of circles with coins raining down into them that you can stand in for extra juice. Okay? So these are the five different shrines. Now, you need to split them up because the ones up here, these four are rare in that they have three different reward pages. That means that every reward page, bar deferrals, are either going to be uniques. Okay? All uniques and nothing else. All currencies, right? Simple currencies and nothing else. That can be mere, uh, exalted, you know, GCP, Chow, Scout, whatever. Or it can be diff cards or stack dicks and only that. So it'll only, every page will only be one of these three choices, except for the OPOP, -OP, right? The Opulent Shrine is only currency for four pages. Okay. That's, that's a little bit of a backstory for you. Now, the reason, the reason why people say like, you know, you don't really get a mirror out of it is because they're so rare. So let's say, let's say that um, these are a, Let's be generous. Uh, I would say that these are a 3% spawn rate. Let's just say, okay? A 3% spawn rate in your map. So if you put in Bloodfield and you guarantee the rituals, it's about a 3% spawn rate, okay? I'm just guessing anecdotal, but I've done a lot of these. What that means is that 97%, okay, of your shrines will not be these guaranteed pages. So what that means is, let's say you have 100 of these encounters, right? And let's say there's one page, you just make it simple. 97 pages will have to roll each item slot as a base type whether that be like armor weapon synthesize currency div card uh unique uh map uh any of the things in the game right and then if it rolls a simple currency then it can be a mirror so it is so it is so so rare right in in the normal to get the mirror because there are um just too many rolls of different base types okay however let's say you get the the op op shrine every single roll of every page is rolling within the mirror category does that make sense so yes although you have much it's you're probably not gonna get a mirror um out of out of one of these because because they're so much more rare the chance of rolling that mirror within that class type on four pages guaranteed is much higher what, what i mean by this is that if you were to take um let's say a uh, hundred uh, of the oppie shrines or the rare shrines versus a hundred normal shrines it would be astronomically more feasible 
to get a mirror or an exalty or an exalty stack out of the rare shrine if that makes sense right but because it's so much more rare you're usually going to get your mirror out of the normal shrine because you encounter it so much more okay that's what it is that's what it is that's my video hope you guys enjoyed my video so look out for these shrines they're really really sick okay thank you guys bye and always try to hit your rerolls on these okay okay bye thanks for watching my video bye i'm gonna save this i'm gonna save as uh i'm gonna save as um paint workshop paint workshop rare sh i'm gonna start saving every single um i'm gonna start saving every single image i draw so that one day in like a year or two we can go back in time and we can look at like hundreds of paint drawings and be like oh remember this this was when i was explaining elemental equilibrium or this was when i was 